Welcome back everyone. I hope that you have had a great day so far. It's been a very beautiful day too. Just take a look out out with me here in uh, overlooking the uh, Milwaukee Station as well as the Civic Center looks great and this has been the, the trend for us all throughout the day today. Current temperatures right now that we observed for our high 79 degrees in Electric City, a little bit warmer down towards uh, Helena 85, 83 in Bozeman, 78 in Lewistown and up towards Haver looking at 70 degrees. But what about right now? Well, temperatures are similar to that 79 in Great Falls, a little bit cooler down towards Helena at 83 degrees. It's been a beautiful day all thanks to a high pressure that has been really situated over the Treasure State. Now it has been a windy one though. We have been looking at some wind gusts up to around 24 miles an hour in the electric city in the uh, in the capital. 17 in Lewistown, 22 up towards Haver and around 20 in Great Falls. So whenever you combine the temperatures as well as the winds, well, how dry are we? Well, we're pretty dry. 18% here in Great Falls, 15% in Helena, 17 in Cutbank, 22 in Haver, 25 in Lewistown. So really, really dry, especially also out towards Glasgow at 19%. But uh, the good news is, is that we have not seen any wildfires, so that's the good news, and hopefully that will be the continuing trend, especially with the rain that we got uh, this past week. So overall, looking at the, last past, uh, the uh, past three hours, we have been looking at clear skies for us all. Rain stays south of uh, Bozeman, around towards Billings. Haven't been looking at, though, anything to complain about other than just the sunny uh, skies, and it's kind of warming up, but temperatures are a lot lower than what we typically see for today, right around like 88 degrees. So uh, I'll take that. Now the reason why this has all been is because of this high pressure that has continued to stay over uh, the Treasure State and it's not going to really be able to move much. I mean, by the, by 6 a.m. tomorrow, it's just going to head on out closer towards Spokane, but then it's going to start to slide back down towards Billings. And as we go into Monday morning, it's going to continue to see sunny skies. However, though, we're going to start to see our temperatures really take a shift. We're going to be looking at them really warming up. So heads up. As we head into this next work week, temperatures are going to be soaring into around 95 degrees for, for some folks. As we head throughout the day tomorrow, we're going to be looking at 5 to 10 mile per hour winds pretty much for everyone, so not looking at any problems with our wind gusts. But the driest part of the day tomorrow, especially for Great Falls, is going to be right around the 330 mark when we're looking at 25% humidity. And for our friends in Helena, we're going to be looking at our driest day right around 3 o'clock. That's when we're going to be looking at 24% humidity, 83 degree temperature. So tomorrow, just make sure that you're doing your part. Try not to light any fires outside. So our temperatures will be warming up on Tuesday to around 95 degrees before they start to level off right around 92 and then 91 on Saturday. You can always follow me on social media at meteorologist Grant Garland on Facebook as well as downloading that free KRTV app. Now as we uh, look at tonight, 49 in Shoto, 49 in Great Falls, 45 in Cutbank, 50 in Haver and 47 in Lewistown. Going throughout the day tomorrow, temperatures are going to be right around uh, 66 degrees by around 10 a.m. And for our friends in Helena, around 68 degrees there. Uh, we are looking at a warm day tomorrow, warmer than today, 85 up towards Haver, 84 in Great Falls, 85 uh, again and around Kalispell. Going throughout the next couple of days, though, 69 degrees on Monday it will be sunny and warm. We are looking at only an isolated chance for showers and thunderstorms as we head into the middle part of the work week. And that's the same situation for our friends in Helena, Wednesday, 88 degrees with an isolated shower.